Hey, welcome to the Composite Panel Builder software demo series. And in this session, I'd like to discuss the uh, uh, process of converting existing layout um, components into the automation program format. And that's simply by going, um, taking a shape inside of a, of a layout, converting it to a panel, converting that to a draw flat panel design, and then staging it and finally exporting it. To get started, let's uh, take a look at the wall panels, for example. And um, the DDK Tools toolbar has a convert panel utility that we can just add a panel number. We'll start with W1 for wall panels. Pick the primary color and then just pick a point anywhere inside the shape and the uh, panel will automatically fill inside. That's it. Now um, we can also take uh, AutoCAD commands and just draw simple shapes or trace them and convert that to a panel um, using the uh, convert panel from a polyline. We'll continue with the panel numbering, same color, and then select that. Now we have uh, uh, a few panels. Now let's go to um, the soffit panels. The only difference between soffits and wall panels are that the soffit panels do not get uh, flipped on the Y or X axis after the uh, they're built the way they, they look. So the same utility, convert panel. We'll grab it and we'll start with S1 uh, because it's soffit and then we'll change it to uh, a different color. Then the same process. Click inside till you get. You can always uh, come back and renumber them or do whatever you want. Now that we've got some panels uh, generated, let's uh, create the flat panel design. And that's simply done through the draw flat panel dialog. Let's pick them all and then draw them. And as you can see, the soffit panels come in uh, non-mirrored. Uh, and that's easily detected by seeing the dimensions on the left. Uh, when the dimensions are on the right, uh, the vertical dimensions are on the right, then you know the panel was flipped. That's a good indicator right there. So once the panels are all done uh, generating, we'll take a look at it real close and see that we get dimensions, we get the uh, rivet holes, we get the route lines, the uh, cut lines, even it throws in a quantity once and, and also the uh, extrusion types that are going to be used. So the next step would be to um, convert uh, or stage these and we'll use the staging panel utility. We, we window those, make sure you get them all and it's going to ask us to pick a point on the drawing and what we want to do is pick an area that is uh, open for panels that means there's no other uh, entities on the drawing in that area you pick a clean spot that's what you need to do and uh, it'll put two rows of panels because we have two different colors involved um, as you can see we've got about 20 some panels here and the next step let's look in real close uh, what we can see is that we have uh, attributes filled in, we have uh, extrusion table. Um, all the attributes are coming from the setup utility that we've already declared what the project number is, what the client name is, and all that stuff. So it's just basically passing that information over. Um, so the only thing that's missing here is our release number. We have a, a, a default XXX, but we want to come in and set a release. So that's done through this part of the program. It says set release number will default to one and I'm just going to pick these top panels as being release one and it's going to walk through each one of them recalculate all the the parts and pieces to make sure that they weren't stretched or or anything uh, manually because it would have to recalculate the new values. Um, also we'll do that to the bottom second the S panels um, to get us a, a release and so we'll go to two and then we'll just do the same thing and we're setting the release to number two. Now that all the panels are, are processed um, and staged ready to go out the door let's uh, create a few, um, a few. So we have this utility called DXF out and we can go out into PDF format, DXF format or drawing format and what we can also do is set up the layering scheme so that uh, whatever layers we have listed on the design side will be the ones that get added and exported uh, in the DWG and the uh, DXF format. All the um, entities within the uh, PDF um, format will go out. So let's do a let's do a export of some panels. We'll do five of them and we'll do them as PDF files. And that's all you have to do is highlight them. We could also filter 
the list by the release numbers. So if we just wanted to go do it that way, we could also just select it. We could type in a prefix of the panel number and, and also uh, shortlist it. So let's export those. And the first thing that it does, it zooms in on each of the panels and creates a, a PDF file. And that's what we asked for. And it's using AutoCAD's um, utility. So now um, we can pull up that dialog one more time and go right to the folder since we already selected the PDF. It'll take us in and show us that. Let's open uh, number five. We'll open number five and see what it looks like. And the PDF file will, uh, will come up. And there it is. And we could rotate it, but I'm not, uh, I'm not so, so interested in that. All right, but that's how you get the exported file. Um, we could resize it if we had to like that. We could rotate it if we needed to. There you go. So uh, all the, the the reason you want the PDF is so that you can send it to the shop. Um, okay, so that's the end of that and uh, we could do DWGs and uh, if we did a DWG export, um, let's change it to number two, or I'm sorry, uh, number one, if we did DWGs for, let's say, the first five of those, all um, you'll see is a, a little icon over in the left top screen showing that it's basically blocking them out as DWG files, and it tells you where they are. Okay, so basically what we've done is we've gone from um, an elevation or wall panel and soffit panels where none existed. We created them. We created the, the, the flat panel design, and then we took it and staged it added a title to it and all the attributes and then we send it out. One more thing we can do before we're done is look at the material list, um, at the build cut list. And we can look at all the material or break it down by release. That's why we add the release number. And if we had different fittings in here, we'd have a, a subsection of all the different ones, but all the different sizes uh, that need to be cut are listed in here. So that's about all we have. Um, so basically recap, um, the composite panel builder software is designed for AutoCAD users that uh, are in the ACM industry trying to uh, get these flat panels to the CNC machine. And it's designed to uh, make that a very simple task. So we take 99% of the, the panels and get them done. And then there's other building utilities to handle all the other 1%, uh, which are the more complex arced and um, compounds and the whole nine yards so uh, if you have any interest in this just give me a call and uh, i'll set you up with a uh, go to meeting and we can go through all the details so thanks for listening